Hello and welcome back to Microbial Concepts. So in this video, we are going to learn about preparation of culture media. So this video is for first year students and for those who are from any other field, but they want to perform, say, a small experiment in their research related to microbiology, then you need to know about culture media and preparation of culture media. Okay, so let's start with this video. So microbiology culture media. So what is what is it? So culture media is also known as growth media as it helps or it promotes the growth of microorganisms. Okay, so it is a specific mixture of nutrients and other substances that support the growth of microorganisms such as bacteria, fungi or you can say yeast and molds in fungi. Okay, so for each and every microbe there is a basic media on which it can grow and there is a selective media on which it can grow. Okay, so there are different types of media. Already a video is also uploaded on this particular topic. So you can watch that video. I will give the link in description box. So regarding culture media, so depending on our practicals or on our experiment, we use different types of media. Now, I am not referring here about selective media or differential media. I am referring here the slant or the deep, okay, or broth, okay, or in case of some biochemical test where we want to detect the gas production, we use Durham's tube in the broth, okay, or agar in, in the agar pleat, okay. So, this is how we use culture media now this depends now if you want to preserve your culture we prepare slants if you want to see the uh, motility you prefer deep okay you just uh, you know inoculate your culture by using a straight needle okay deep and slant is there then for just observing the turbidity we use broth for gas production we add the ham's tube where you see a gas bubble inside for isolation purpose, for uh, studying the colony characteristics, we use agar plates. Okay, so this depends. Okay, so here we are just focusing on the method of, of preparing broth media and agar media. Okay, I am not referring here uh, about preparation of slant or dip. Okay, so we are just focusing on how you prepare, or what is the method of preparing a broth media or agar media okay so in case of the media bottle that we are using the batch of media that we are using first you check the manufacturing date then expiry date and check whether it is already approved or whether a similar bottle is present which is already open and it, that is it that is in use or not okay don't just randomly open any um, bottle which is available and start preparing the culture media because you need to maintain the stock also in case of pharma industry uh, when a new batch of uh, culture media dehydrated powder it comes a gpt that is growth promotion test is performed to see whether the new batch is also promoting the growth of microorganisms or not okay so after doing that after getting the positive results the media is approved and then it is used for the uh, regular media preparation and in case if you have log books then yeah in pharma industries it is compulsory to maintain the stock that how much media powder was used for say mcconkey is brought today so even you have to uh, make the entry for agar for any dehydrated media powder that you are using okay everything has to be written in the logbook okay you have to uh, minus the amount of media that is used and then you have to write how much media powder is available in the bottle now okay so that is how you maintain the stocks in pharma industries okay so in case i i don't think in uh, college levels the stock of media powder or dehydrated media is maintained but at least you have log books for uh, analytical weighing balance or for autoclave where you need to uh, do the entry when you use it okay so you use the media that is approved and that is in use then you maintain the stock properly if required and after taking the bottle you open it you need a spatula a piece of paper and analytical balance for weighing purpose okay so this is the analytical balance so it has a tear button for setting the zero 
so once you place a piece of paper which is clean you tear your uh, balance okay so it will set to zero then by using spatula you start weighing your media powder that how um, the quantity that is required for the media suppose you require uh, 3 grams for 100 ml then you require 1.5 grams for 50 ml okay so it depends on how much volume of medium media you are preparing depending on the volume you uh, weigh your powder accordingly okay so weigh required quantity of dehydrated media powder and then you fold you pick your paper which has the media powder you fold it properly and carefully you have to transfer the media powder in the flask okay don't waste your media powder or don't spill it okay because uh, if you spill the powder the quantity which you have measured for say 100 ml your medium or your media will now uh, say if you spill the agar powder itself then you will not get the 100 ml of agar okay you will get some semi-solid media because you have spilled the half quantity of agar while transferring okay so you will not get your plate solidified after autoclaving so remember to use hand gloves and clean spatula and don't spill the powder or waste it then next is after adding the powder into the flask carefully you have to add the required amount of water to the flask you measure the sterile distilled water or demineralized water whichever is available and you use a clean cylinder measuring cylinder you take the required quantity of water and you have to add it by tilting your flask why because while adding the powder it happens that some of the powder sticks to the uh, surface here okay side walls of the flask so you need to wash them by the water when you are adding water into the flask then for proper mixing uh, you need to use a hot stirrer plate and a magnetic stirrer and you place your flask on the stirrer and let it uh, mix the powder and then you plug the flask wrap it properly for autoclaving now when you are placing your flask for autoclaving there depends on the institute or the college some have the habit of wrapping the flask with aluminium foil some have the habit of wrapping it with a newspaper okay and rubber band it depends okay now if you are uh, preparing the agar plates then don't forget to add glass clean glass petri plates which are wrapped properly while autoclaving the media itself okay so that in the one cycle or the in same cycle your media plus your plates will get sterilized okay so sterilize the media by autoclaving in case of broth if you want to inoculate itself in the flask then it is okay but if you want to inoculate in say uh, test tubes then before autoclaving you dispense your media properly as shown here okay take a test tube stand uh, take clean uh, test tubes plug them properly okay you should have proper cotton plugs ready and dispense your media properly plug them okay wrap them and you autoclip okay depending on your experiment it depends how you want to use your media likewise you have to dispense in the particular glassware and then sterilize so after sterilization after autoclaving later you take out the flask and transfer it to the working table or say biaseptic cabinet or LF where you want to work then you can inoculate directly if it is broth okay and then incubate but if it is agar then you have to pour your plates when so after taking out the flask which has your uh, solid agar media which is sterilized let it cool down you take it to the to your working table let it cool down to 45 degrees celsius and then you can pour your plates okay and then stack them one upon another so that the moisture will not get accumulated on the lead okay so if it is agar then you pour plates let them solidify and then your agar plates are ready for inoculation okay so that is how we prepare broth and agar plates media agar plates in microbiology okay so i hope this video is clear to you all so i hope you like my video do give a thumbs up then like my video share my video and do subscribe to my channel thank you